Hi, I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. I hope y'all are ready to do some fun crafting. We're going to make these beautiful topiaries. You can use flowers from the Dollar Tree, some items you, you already have, and get crafting this spring. And the prettier the flowers, the happier it makes me. So everybody bloom where you're planted. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you will get notified the next time we're crafting. We're going to be crafting up a storm. So let's get started. All right, friends, let's get crafting. I bought these foam balls and I bought them in two packs. And I used, opened one of my two packs and I used one of them. If y'all remember my topiary I made before, just recently, I used the other ball to put the moss on it. And I can put um, the info about that so you can see how to do that one as well. But I decided to do something to spring and use these pretty pink flowers. And so I was looking through my florals and I really like the light pink ones, I think the best. I'm gonna put it in my daughter's bedroom. I just finished painting a little side table and she made a mandala stencil with her Cricut Maker. And y'all are gonna be wowed by that. Anyway, I'll share that with you too. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna cut those little roses and I'm just going to pluck them in, stick them in there um, in the form, the well the styrofoam ball form and I'm going to cut all my little florals off and I'm going to try to not use two, um, I want it to be a little more random so I, I want to do a distribution of not all big but like big, small, small, big, medium, big, small, you know, random. Uh, placement so it doesn't get boring so I'll go all the way around and kind of split it in half and then work filling in one half at a time still just working filling in just trying to make sure that I don't use all the same size in one area and I did have to move things around multiple times even at the very end I was moving some florals around but it's okay it's not finished until you say it's finished so I was trying to decide if I was going to add some other color to it, but I'm totally happy with this color as it's the only floral in there. Decided to heat up my glue gun and use a little bit of glue. Some of those florals were falling out, so they stay in there. Some of them stay in there perfectly, um, and then the other ones fall right out. So I decided I would go through and if they started falling out those are the ones I'd glue in but I wanted to be sure about the placement before I glued everything in but a few of them had to get a get a glue before we even got to that point all right if y'all been following me, you know the green's my favorite color so trying to find a green uh it's hard to decision but I think I like the darker contrast so I'm going to use the darker green to add a little bit of interest Let's break up some of that pink and pink and green are so pretty together so I'm just going to glue those in there and kind of move them around. And th these are the greenery that are off the stems where I cut the little roses. So in other words, just reusing more of that same floral, not wasting any of it. Oh, and it's turning out so pretty. You know, this would be so pretty at a, for Mother's Day or bridal shower, tea party. These are beautiful and you can also just get really inexpensive florals you can get them from the dollar tree wherever you can find them maybe in a thrift store somewhere in your um, town and you can make these with um, any kind of spring florals and it'd be so pretty for your easter table just adding my last few flowers in and then we'll get that stem put in there and this is almost finished and it is so pretty. All right, we're ready. We've got this finished. Now I'm going to take off my topiary moss ball off the top and the little tie. And I'm going to reuse the pot that I painted and the stick that's on there, the dowel rod. And you can see I cut that kind of rough. But I use my wire cutters to do it. You might be able to use a little saw and do a little better job, but it works. So I just want to show you how I just, you know, just paint just a regular clay pot painted then I put a piece of foam in it and stuck the dowel rod in and with a little bit of glue and we're back in business and I did put a little bit of um, moss that I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, let's just get that put on there. Just take you a second and it will be looking so pretty. 
So once I get it on there, I'm gonna take a piece of lace and I'm gonna tie it on there like a shoelace and just tie a little bow in there, trim it, and it is all it needs. It's perfect. And it would be so pretty for Mother's Day and table arrangement or Easter. You can use any florals at all. It would be pretty for um, a tea party, a wedding shower, you name it. This is a beautiful and super simple as you can see. That would be fun to do during these um, time in spring when we're still a little bit maybe not so nice outdoors, but we're dreaming about beautiful weather. So this will get us prettier the flowers, they're prettier the day. Well, I can't be happier. This has turned out better than I even imagined. So y'all remember that I was redoing my daughter's bedroom and I made this split ball wreath. And I do have a tutorial on how to make that as well. And I was just wanting to show you this is going to be there hanging with it. And I can show you about that later too. All right. Happy crafting. Hey guys, make sure you check out um, in the description below all the supplies that you'll need for this. And also check out the cute little table that I painted and I used a mandala that my daughter made up for me. It's a stencil. So check that out and you can see it. It'll be um, posted in the description below. All right, y'all, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for coming. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're coming in from watching and we'll see you later.